Lord have mercy, I cannot believe I am saying this, but it's almost tax time. So let's talk about one of the largest deductions that we have as owner operators in the trucking business, per diem. Hello and welcome to Trucking Topics Today, where I provide information for your trucking journey. My name is Tony and I am your host here on the channel. Everything Trucking Topics can be found at truckingtopics.com, including your FMCSA DOT authority registration, so easy, getting approved with Amazon Relay, how to pass your new entrant safety audit, permits, IFTA, and how you can connect with me, including getting access to my cell phone. I'll have the website noted at the bottom throughout the video, so don't go there yet, okay? Why, you say? Because a bit later, I'm going to tell you about a per diem deduction you may not know about. I know I didn't. So, per diem, ah, which by the way means per day, who knew I didn't? <laughs> is one of your largest tax deductions as an owner operator but it is easily misunderstood in our business as owner operators we have ordinary and necessary business meal and incidental expenses that we pay or we incur while we are away from our home we substantiate those expenses using the IRS per diem deduction so let's talk about the new per diem allowance that went actually up beginning October 1st, 2021. Hey, but first, I want to say that uh, I got this information from one of only a few trusted sites that I use for trucking information and trucking tidbits, okay? ATBS. It's the ATBS website. And although they did not sponsor this video, I will give them a huge shout out due to the informative material accessible through their knowledge hub that is on their site. Uh, full disclosure, I have in the past used their tax and bookkeeping services. They did me right. But check them out at atbs.com. Okay, let's talk money. Uh, we as owner operators are allowed subject to the hours of service regulations that when we travel for business, we can deduct our meal expenses from our income. Now the amount that we are allowed to deduct is set by the IRS. The current rate as of October 1st, 2021, as I mentioned, has been increased to $69 per day in the continental US. Now, you may hear the amount of the deduction quoted as $55.20. Now that is because the IRS only allows us to deduct 80% of that $69. And here's a pro tip. Be very careful with your 2021 taxes. The per diem rate from January 1st, 2021 to September 30th, 2021 was $66 per day. So remember not to count any per diem days before October 1st, 2021 at the new $69 rate. You'll be overstating. And of course, ATBS can assist you with that issue as well. Here is a huge change in your per diem for the tax years 2021 and 2022. Owner operators will be able to take a 100% per diem deduction for meal purchases from a restaurant as opposed to the 80% per diem deduction currently. Now, this is a bit of a slippery rule. So I strongly suggest you use um, the link that I have in the show notes below to read how to implement this rule into your uh, per diem deduction. Now, as before, ATBS to the rescue, and all links referenced in this video are in the show notes below. By the way, that additional per diem deduction I promised, it's coming up. Just a couple more minutes. 
So how do you qualify for the per diem deduction? You only need to comply with two rules. First, you need to be away from the general area of your tax home. Uh, substantially longer than an ordinary's day's work. Now second, you need to sleep or rest to meet the demands of your work while away from home. Now it further states that taking a nap does not satisfy the requirement. Um, however, you do not need to be away from home for a whole day as long as your relief from duty is long enough to get necessary sleep or rest. Leave it to the IRS to be ambiguous. Oh, wait, <laughs> hold on. I'm not even sure I know how to spell that word, so I, I really shouldn't use it. Uh, let's say this. Uh, I mean to say the IRS loves to make rules with more than one interpretation. I guess that's why there's tax courts, right? <laughs> So in a nutshell, whatever that means, what does this mean to a driver? If you are an owner operator, the rule is very simple. You get to claim the tax deduction for each day that you are away from your tax home. Now, on the days that you depart your tax home and on the days that you arrive back home to your tax home, uh, you can claim a partial day allowance. You can't claim a full day. So that is three quarters of the standard allowance. So day one you leave and days two, three, four, and five you are away. And day six you come back to your tax home. Now on day one and day six you can only deduct 75% of the standard allowance which, by the way, is $41.40. Remember, the standard allowance is $55.20, and you divide that by 0.75. Now, on day 2, 3, 4, and 5, you can deduct 80% per diem. Uh, that is $69 divided by 0.8. But remember to look into the 100% deduction rule for restaurants to see if you qualify using that link down in the show notes below. Bone up on that a little bit. There's iffy parts. Now, important to note, as a result of the Trump administration's Tax Cuts and Job Act, uh, uh, Jobs Act, I should say, or TCJA, that was passed in December of 2017, company drivers are no longer eligible to claim the per diem deduction. And that sucks. Also, I won't get into local or regional drivers in this video, but I will say that drivers who start and end a trip at home on the same DOT hours of service work day cannot claim per diem. All right, are you ready? Here's that per diem deduction I promised at the beginning of the video that you may not know about. Oh, did you say you have a non-CDL rider in your truck? Really? Non-CDL riders who are performing other duties, such as bookkeeping, dispatching, assisting in loading and unloading, answering the phone, may deduct 50% of that $69, which comes out to $34.50 per day, or $25.88 for a partial day. Now that is in addition to the per diem deduction for the CDL driver. Well, holy cow, Karen. <laughs> oh, geez, did I just really say that? <laughs> All right, go get your per diem calendar at atbs.com. Be safe, I'm done.